What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be teaching you the easiest way to install Libra Elect on your compatible device. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the newly released Libra Elect USB SD Creator. This was made by the same people that brought you Libra Elect. So check out the link in the description on where you can download it. This tool is very easy to use. It works on just about any operating system and all you have to do is select your version. So for me, I'm going to be installing it on my Raspberry Pi 3. So I select this one. Then you select the image you would like. So this is the latest image right now, but you can also go to show all and it would show the previous ones and the ones that are still in beta. We're going to keep the latest one for now and then you can either download or select from your local storage. So if you downloaded this image a while ago and you have it on your computer, you can select file. If you are new to this, you can just select download. So I'm just going to download it to this Libra Elect folder I have here. I'm going to select open and it's going to go ahead and download it to that folder you'll get a little nice progress bar to let you know how long you have left. Once your download is complete, it's gonna say download complete, check some okay. You can go ahead and proceed to inserting your USB stick or SD card as I have done here. Make sure you select the right one because you will lose all your data. After you make sure you go ahead and write image and it's gonna tell you this will destroy your data, select yes. And then you'll get a little progress bar. Just wait for it to finish. Once it has finished, you'll get writing done, at which point you can go ahead and close the Libra Elect USB SD Creator tool and proceed to safely ejecting your USB device or your SD card and then connecting it to the Raspberry Pi or whatever other device you may have. When you boot up the device, it will go through the setup process and you should be presented with a welcome screen. That's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.